alignments. Um, other things, uh, make sure that you go in and you change um, the graphic display to have silhouettes. You might want to play to see if silhouettes want to be on or off, but you definitely want to have anti-aliasing on. You can see that these things are grayed out for me and I'll show you why. You'll, once you set up one, basically you can set up a view template for all the other drawings. And all you have to do is save as view template. And you go in and you name it, whatever you're going to name it. I called mine ortho drawings. Although it turned out that I ended up using it for some perspective drawings and some other things. So I'm not sure that's a great name, but okay, that's what I said. I'm going to cancel because I've already done it. And now let's go in to something that hasn't been assigned. And we will go ahead and assign it. So say that this one, uh, let's just go see. Say that it didn't have that or didn't have that on. Okay, so this is kind of what you might have already. So if you had that, what you would do is you'd go over here and you'd say, okay, there's the view template. Instead of none, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hit an ortho drawings. And essentially it'll take on the same, um, same settings uh, that I've already set up. If you, if you happen to be on a plan and you don't see, it's like, where did it go? It's because right up here, view type filter, uh, each, type of drawing Revit set up for you to have different types of view templates. So, and, and that makes a lot of sense, but for our purposes, maybe we want them all just to kind of be the same or just have a couple. So you'd have to, if you're on a plan or you're on a perspective, you'd have to click on all and then suddenly you'd see your uh, view template show up. So anyway, I'm going to apply that and you can see what happened. Um, the anti-aliasing is uh, now taken care of, but you might notice that it kind of got a little thick on the silhouette. So to change that, you know, normally I'd go in here, I'd go to graphic display, and I'd change it here, but now they're grayed out because I have a view template in, in use. So I'm going to cancel that. And the beautiful part is that now I just have to go up to view, and over here to the left you'll see view template. Click on that. I'm going to manage the view templates. I'm going to find ortho drawings and I'm going to go under here under model display. And then I'm going to keep that on, but I might turn this down and say the medium lines and apply that. And not only will it apply on the drawing I'm in, but anywhere that I've applied that view template, now medium lines is my new silhouette. So that's great. It's, it's a really a global thing that can adjust all your drawings, all the drawings that you've applied it to. So you can see I've applied it to the perspective, applied it to the plan, so on and so forth. Okay, that's that.